Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be filming my bookshelf slash cozy nook tour. So come along with me as I show you the method I use to organize my books and where I got some of my coziest items from. This is my top bookshelf. It's more of like a gold gradient theme. Um, I have some big names up here, like the first edition of Fourth Wing with the sprayed edges, Scarred by Emily McIntyre. I have the bookish box plated prisoner special editions that are stunning. This is one of my favorite shelves, honestly. This is my second shelf. No real rhyme or reason about the organization. These two series just looked really aesthetically pleasing together. And the Bonds of Tie series is one of my favorite series. I'm currently reading Shatter Me and I feel like it will also become one of my favorite series when I'm done with it. So they just fit perfectly together. This is my third shelf. I call this the Black Girl Magic Shelf. Um, there are a lot of like black fantasy books here. We have Legendborn, Bloodmarked, um, the Ray Bearer series, Beasts of Prey. We have a lot of Elizabeth Acevedo here. And these books just give off black girl magic and they look stunning together with their colors. And I kind of did a gradient as well, like kind of purple, black to like high yellows and like light blues. This is another one of my favorite shelves. It's like a romance shelf, but I also did another gradient. As you can tell, gradients are my thing. Uh, it's kind of like white to pink. And we have the Once Upon a Broken Heart and the Battle of Never After with a rose there. And then it goes to more like blues and light greens. I am obsessed with this shelf. I love it. This shelf was more so like miscellaneous, but also still keeping the romance theme. And I kind of have like somewhat of a gradient going from like blacks to blues to pinks and Seven Days of June, which is one of my favorite black romance books in the middle to like kind of like the light pinks, yellows and greens. Terms of Conditions is always on here by Lauren Asher, The Fine Print, I love. So I like the shelf, not one of my faves, but it's cute. So this is the last shelf on this particular bookshelf. It is my thrillers. I have the whole Inheritance Games trilogy on display because those covers are stunning. When the fourth book comes out, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I also have like a Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have the Truly Devious series, When No One Is Watching, Verity. So some nice books down here as well. I don't really read thrillers. As you can see, I also kind of did a gradient like blues to greens to reds to whites on the shelf. That's just what I do, it's my vibes. And now we're moving to the smaller bookshelf. This is the first shelf on my smaller bookshelves. These ones are from Target. The first shelf that I showed you guys is from Ikea, that's the Billy. On this shelf, I have a lot of fantasy series. I have the Ember and the Ashes series. I have the Cold Prince. I have the Selection. I have Kingdom of the Wicked. And then just some miscellaneous book one of series that I have. And I didn't really have anywhere to put them. But I like this shelf too. Kind of like a little gradient thing going as well. I think these colors really went together nicely. I almost moved Kingdom of the Cursed because I was like, Ugh, it's messing up that side. Because I wanted that side to be more dark, but... I was like, fine, I'll keep it together. <laughs> the next shelf on this particular bookshelf is my From Blood and Ash Shrine. This was one of my favorite series, at least the first three books. I have not continued on. I have Shadow in the Amber, but I have yet to read it, even though I heard that Daddy Nictos is like top tier. But I do have the fairy version of From Blood and Ash that is absolutely stunning. And I just decorated it with all the goodies that came with it, like the Blood Dagger letter opener, the mug, the magnets, the art print is in the back there. And I just love the shelf. Right below that shelf, I have my Kennedy Ryan shrine. Basically, these are all of the books of hers that I have. I've read Long Shots, I have read Real, those are two of my faves. But I definitely want to get into the rest of her series, so I already built her shrine because I know that I'm going to love them all. 
and yes i have two copies of before i let go because one was sent to me and i bought one and it was too late to return the one that i bought so someday soon i'll be doing like a giveaway with one of the copies once i read the book this next bookshelf is just mainly dark romance a lot of these are special editions that i got from the dark remedies box they are so pretty and if you are not already subscribed to getting that box it comes out every three months i believe and i am a rep for them and i just love everything that they come out with and then some of these are from valentine pr but look at this stunning edition of heartless heathens and shattered hearts as well and battered souls they're so pretty so if you like dark romance i definitely recommend dark remedies this is the final shelf on that particular bookshelf this is kind of like miscellaneous fantasy ish paranormal type stuff i have the laura olympus graphic novels on here i got caraval because i only have the first book i have six of crows taken to varaxia the special edition which is beautiful and then i have ninth house and the infernal devices series moving on to the final bookshelf this is my red queen shrine one of my favorite series that i read as a kid and i'm still obsessed with them i reread them every single year so obviously they had to have their own shelf below that shelf i have the throne of glass series in crescent city when I get Akatar, where is it gonna go? I don't know. But like I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But these look so pretty next to each other. Right below that shelf, I have another kind of like fantasy-ish shelf. I have the OG version of the Atlas Six, and everybody is like fiending for that version. It's like over $120 on like resellers. Some people selling it for like 300 bucks. I'm like, whoa. I also have Bite of Loyalty. I'm obsessed with. Someone sent me Daughter of No Worlds and I love the cover. I have the Hunger Games series. And there's some thrillers in here. Like the Similars, I believe, is a thriller, but it kind of fit the vibe of the shelf. So I just put it there. And a Broken Blade, the Anonymous Edition. Um, if you guys know on TikTok when that whole trend was going on and that book was being marketed, no one knew who the author was. The anonymous editions are like gold. And this is the final shelf on this particular bookshelf that has books on it. It's very miscellaneous. Like we have graphic novels on here. We have like a black historical fantasy. We have Ace of Spades. We have the Will Smith book. That's not even mine. It's my boyfriend's, but... It needed to go somewhere and we have fable which i am obsessed with so that is the statement piece of this shelf because the covers are just so beautiful i love them but this is my like i didn't know where to put your shelf <laughs> and then this bottom shelf is just really filled with goodies things that i've gotten from the dark remedies box like all the amazing smelling lotions and homemade candles and soaps and some other candles. I have my book stamp back there. I have a mug that's a little risque. That's why I'm hiding it a little. And then I also have all of my bookmarks in the mug. That concludes my bookshelf tour. Now we will show my gaming desk and kind of like all the little things I have over here. I am just so in love with this space. It is rivaled for my favorite space to be in my entire house with my bed. Like that's how much I love being here. So this is my little desk area. Um, I game here. As you can see, I have my special edition Zelda Nintendo Switch. I have a monitor. That's my emotional support water bottle. A little fake plant my gaming monitor and I also have my laptop and my airpods and Kindle page turner this is my Kindle and the Kindle stand and then I have my little chair and squishmallow and my blanket uh, the blanket is from Target the squishmallow is from Target and the chair is the OSP wicker chair from Amazon it is so comfortable I love it
Thank you for joining me for my bookshelf slash cozy reading nook tour. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!